welcome back to our film noir series. We've saved the best for last, Nyseria Gonorrhea. In this scene, we'll join our protagonist. Defeated, she heads to the old watering hole, Gonzo's Bar, to drown her sorrows. Chin up, perhaps all is not lost. What's lost may be found. <laughs> well, we can spot a good foreshadow when we see one. Can you spot a Nyseria bug when you see it? Nyseria are gram-negative diplococci. For the other common features of the Nyseria genus, start back at part one. The only feature that will make you extra remember here is that Nyseria is facultative intracellular, hence the two red cherries in the mixed drink. Specifically, they're facultative intracellular and PMNs, or polymorphonucleated white blood cells. So, if you see a slide with gram-negative diplococci inside a PMN, think Nyseria gonorrhoeae. One other feature is that, unlike meningitidis, Neisseria gonorrhoeae is not encapsulated. Recall that in the Neisseria meningitidis sketch, we had the liquor capsule to symbolize meningococcal capsules. Here, we've placed this obviously broken glass capsule here to remind you that Neisseria gonorrhoeae does not have a capsule. The next thing we'll cover is something you probably already know. Gonorrhea is a reportable sexually transmitted infection, so we've added a little intimate moment between Mac and her lost flame. Aha! That's the lost flame! 